Hello, my name is Germana Rovinelli. I am a uh, certified clinical hypnotherapist with about 22 years experience as a hypnotherapist certified with the Canadian Hypnotherapy or Hypnosis Association. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about mind-body health. Uh, my experience um, has been that it's one of those things that people you know, they're confused about um, what hypnosis is and how it works and can they be hypnotized and, you know, will you be controlled and all of these myths about um, what it really is. And hypnosis is a natural state that we go into um, when we learn, um, when we absorb information or we're really fascinated by something or attracted to something. That in itself is a natural state of hypnosis. And um, when we're taught something from a teacher, they are in effect a superior to us, which makes us very suggestible to their language and what they tell us and things like that. So we all go into a natural state of hypnosis with our eyes wide open six to nine times a day. And um, it's natural. It's not some scary thing that, that is bad. It's actually just a, a level of uh, speed that the brain begins to slow down, the nervous system begins to slow down, and the person becomes more receptive. So it's not, a, um, it's not something where someone controls you. It's actually a way to have more control and understanding in your own life, in your own uh, personal behavior or success or failures. So I'm just going to read a little bit about you know what is um, clinical hypnotherapy and what I liked about hypnotherapy for myself was that I'd had so many personal challenges from a very very challenging upbringing um, that I did a lot of talk therapy for a long time but I still had the emotional responses I still felt very very stressed and anxiety ridden um, and once I understood how to access the subconscious mind. Um, with you know a good practitioner, I was able to clean out my negative responses to the world. And it's called brief therapy because you're not doing it forever. It's the kind of therapy where often eight sessions can change a person's life. And then you're like, what else do you want to change? So I'll just gently read a little bit from one of my brochures on it. Um, hypnotherapy is a brief method of therapy that uses your subconscious mind to correct imbalanced thinking removing negative limiting beliefs and decisions. When other forms of therapy haven't worked, many clients find hypnotherapy to be the key to lifelong change. As an example, I've been working with a woman who's struggling with anxiety, anxiety all over the place, and um, she's just in that heightened state so much that her brain and her body doesn't know how to shift. And uh, she was referred to me from another um, practitioner and, uh, you know, after one session, she looked at me and she goes, I'm so surprised that I could even be this calm and I feel so good. And I just encourage her to know that that begins, that is an indicator of the beginning of change. All of our behavior, our beliefs, our actions, our ways of seeing the world known as our worldview comes from our subconscious mind. It comes from how we've been programmed um, when we were quite, quite young. Um, from zero, I mean conception to 11 years old for women, is when their major decisions and the beliefs that they've decided for their life and for themselves and the world are in, encoded into their subconscious. And uh, for boys, it's zero conception till seven years old. Those are where we actually make the biggest decisions of our life. And clearly, um, anyone in those younger years doesn't have the ability to make really, really um, helpful decisions. Some of them will be good. Some of them can be very limiting and cause problems for their, for their, up, uh, their upbringing and their, their future. So what someone like myself can do, um, you know, is, is again introduce them to the power of that part of their mind, have a connection with that part of the mind, and then help deprogram those core beliefs. Um, some people have core beliefs that they're not good enough, they're not smart enough, um, they're not worth loving, um, that they're bad, or that they're responsible for other people's suffering. Those beliefs can easily become something that sabotages the quality of someone's life. And uh, what I do when I've given the opportunity to help someone 
um, with a handful of sessions, I can often help them untie or deprogram that link that says I'm bad. And if you believe you're bad, your subconscious will need you to be punished. If you believe you're guilty, you'll have patterns of pain. If you think you're unworthy or unlovable, you'll create situations or attract people that will actually treat you that way. And it becomes like this magnetic pull. You attract people and situations to you that mirrors your core beliefs. And that's just a subconscious thing. Their subconscious and your subconscious come together. And my my role in that is to help that person release that negative belief. It's like emptying the trash and put in there something truly that is self-honoring such as that you're worthy and you're lovable and that you're capable and uh, change that relationship with self. I see amazing changes with women that you know and men that have eating disorders that want to um, change their relationship with their body and food or if someone's stuck and they want to lose weight and they can't really get that motivation they keep sabotaging hypnotherapy or hypnosis can be so 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 effective in just giving them that catalyst to go forward and believe it's possible to see themselves succeeding to say yes I could do this inside of the elevator music of their mind um, so it's something that's really really holistic the beauty of it is, is you don't need a lot of sessions. A few sessions can do a tremendous benefit to the client. And um, you're not married to your therapist. My job as a hypnotherapist is to essentially get fired as soon as possible and to navigate that way through with the client is a gentle dance, which I do quite well and I'm very grateful to do that. So mind and body, the mind impacts the body and the body just does what it's been told. So if you tell your body um, you're healthy and you can be calm and I like you and I appreciate you, you'll basically have a higher quality of life. If on the other hand you're saying, you know, I'm dumb or I'm stupid or I'm fat or I don't want fat thighs, those are all the kind of messages that basically tell you um, life isn't going to be so comfortable. Life isn't going to be so easy for you. And that person eventually just really ends up hating themselves because they're stuck. They're in a hypnotic trance. It's a double bind of self-limiting beliefs and attitudes that eventually just cause nothing but more pain. Why is mind-body health or hypnosis so powerful and important? Because it gets to the root cause of the problem instead of just constantly you know, managing, trimming down the blackberry bush, you actually get to go in and go to the root of the blackberry bush, pull it out, understand it, make peace with it, let it go, and then plant back in that hole what's true for you, what you choose today in your life. And the beauty is you have choice. You can't change what's happened in your life, but you can change how you deal with it today. You can change how you rewrite your script for life, how you rewrite your story, what it is that you really, really want. Nobody has the power to take that away from you but you. And the real key is getting access to the subconscious. If you've ever heard of Louise Hay, you know, she wrote a series of really powerful books, You Can Heal Your Life, which I was introduced to when I was 16. And it all talks about the subconscious false limiting beliefs and then what you would want to put on top or over that. And what I've learned is if you don't clear the root cause, the new belief won't really stick. It's like planting flowers in a blackberry patch. They won't stay. The blackberries will take over and the blackberry bush is a metaphor for limiting beliefs. And uh, sometimes you don't have to go after those limiting beliefs, but often what that does, it just cleans the slate and then you can have um, the privilege of saying, what is true for me? Not what those people told me, but what is true for me? And it gives you back incredible um, choice and power and um, self-awareness and, and the ability to recognize that you are a powerful person, but being taught how to access that in a safe fashion with someone who is a professional that knows how to deal with whatever may or may not be part of that person's story. Um, so mind-body, uh, the hip hypnosis as a tool is the most effective thing I've ever seen in my life. I've had people that have come in for sexual dysfunction that were told by other hypnotherapists that they can't be helped and within three sessions the problem was resolved. 
part of it is just knowing what to ask and knowing how to gather that information and um, helping you or the client feel safe. And I've also had people that were clinically and chronically depressed and struggling um, have really, really, really wonderful results just by helping them deal with the cause, the grief, the loss that they haven't been able to resolve. Sometimes we're not taught how to grieve or feel our feelings and your feelings and your subconscious are connected like this. Your body is your subconscious. If your body's healthy, your subconscious is vital. If your body is sick, your subconscious is deep, it, it's sick. It's got negative messages. It might have, ang you know, you might have anger, you might have resentments, things like that. And the only way to really clean it clearly is by having a better relationship with yourself, which is through accessing the subconscious, where you actually get to be uh, kind to yourself, um, empathic and cat compassionate, and also uh, give yourself a life that you really would like to have. So I'm hoping that I've inspired you to consider this holistic tool, no drugs required, not months of therapy, not billions of dollars, um, and give yourself permission to explore how powerful your subconscious mind is and how, excuse me, effective this type of therapy can be. It's not going to be for everyone. What I suggest if you find someone that doesn't work for you, keep looking because you might find one that does. I've had people come to me that were very unhappy with another another practitioner and were referred to me, and they were very, very um, pleased that I was able to help them navigate through um, the confusion and come to a new relationship with themselves and basically empty out the trash can. So if you are curious and you do have questions, um, I do and have done Skype sessions as well. Face-to-face -face is always nicer, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. And you're welcome to contact me um, via telephone. I live in Canada, Vancouver Island, 250-591-5327. And uh, my website is heart, H-E-A-R-T, consulting.ca. And my email is g at g-e-r-m-a-n-a dot c-a. I wish you well and um, I encourage you to uh, just take some time to find some natural ways to be healthy and to be well. Thank you for taking the time to watch this YouTube video. Bye for now.